Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. I am Vinita Garg, HOD Computer Science. In this video lesson, we will talk about inheritance. After going through this video tutorial, you would be able to explain the concept of inheritance, describe the five forms of inheritance, define three types of inheritance, explain all three visibility modes, describe the concept of abstract class and virtual class. All the properties of object oriented programming are very close to real life. In real life, we have seen that a child inherits properties from his or her parents. Similar feature has been introduced in object oriented programming also. In object oriented programming, inheritance is defined as the capability of one class to inherit properties of an already existing class. The mechanism of deriving a new class from an old one is called inheritance or derivation. The old class is referred to as the base class and the new class is called the derived class. Here in this example, child is the derived class and parents form the base class. Advantages of inheritance the most important advantage of inheritance is code reusability. Once a base class is written and debugged, it can be used in various situations without having to redefine it or rewrite it. Reusing the existing code saves time, money and efforts of writing the code again. Without redefining the old class, we can easily add new properties and methods to the desired class. Need for inheritance. Inheritance is one of the most important concepts of object oriented programming language. Some of the major reasons why this concept has been introduced in object oriented programming language are its capability to express the relationship which ensures the closeness with the real world. Idea of reusability that is the new class can use the features of old or existing class. Transitive nature of inheritance that is if a child class inherits from a parent class which already is inherited from some other base class then the sub child of child class in turn will receive the properties of parent class too. Different forms of inheritance. There are five different forms of inheritance. Let us talk about them. The first one is the single inheritance. In single inheritance, a derived class is derived from only one base class. We can see in the figure, A is the base class and B is the derived class which is derived from A. Multiple inheritance. Here, a derived class is derived from several base classes. You can see in the figure, C is the child class and A and B are the base classes of the child class C. Hierarchical inheritance. Here, one class may be inherited by more than one classes. That is, you can have more than one child of a single base class. You can see in this example, A is the base class and B, C and D are child classes which are derived from the base class A. Multi-level inheritance. Deriving a class from another derived class. That is, which is already derived from another base class. You can see in this example, we have class A, which is the base class for class B. That is, class B is derived from A and it is acting as a base class for another class C. That is, class C is the child class and B is the base class for class C. Hybrid inheritance. It is a combination of hierarchical and multiple inheritance. You can see in the figure, A is the base class and B and C are the child classes of the base class A. And D again is the child class for which B and C are the base classes. So this is hybrid inheritance. Defining a derived class. A derived class is defined by specifying its relationship with the base class using visibility modes. 
So, the general syntax for the same is class which is a keyword then derive class name of the derive class colon visibility mode and then the name of the base class. The colon indicates that the derive class is derived from the given base class. The visibility modes can be private, protected or public. Now we can give the name of more than one base classes here and they will be separated by comma. Please remember that if no visibility mode is specified then by default the visibility mode is considered as private. Multiple inheritance. A subclass inheriting from multiple base classes is known as multiple inheritance. The syntax for the same is class derived class name colon visibility mode base class 1 comma visibility mode base class 2 and then the body of the child class. So, let us take an example of it. We are taking an example of class marks which is inheriting from two classes semester 1 and semester 2. So, it will be written as class marks colon public semester 1 comma private semester 2. It means that class marks is inheriting from class semester 1 publicly and from class semester 2 privately. Access control and inheritance. A derived class can access all the protected and public members of its base class. And remember it cannot access the private members of the base class. You can see in the figure all the public and protected members become the members of the derived class. But private members of the base class are never inherited. Visibility modes. There can be three types of visibility mode, public, private or protected. So let us see this table. In this table, we have the members of the base class which can be private, protected and public. Now let us see if the type of inheritance is private then in that case the private members of the base class will not be inherited. The protected members of the base class become the private members of the child class and the public members of the base class become the private members of the child class. In protected inheritance or visibility mode, private members of the base class are not inherited. Protected members of the base class become protected members of the child class and public members of the base class become protected members of the child class. In public inheritance or public visibility mode, again the private members of the base class are not inherited. The protected members of the base class become protected members of the child class and the public members of the base class become public members of the child class. So, this is how the inheritance takes place. Let us again make it more clear using example. So, we are taking first an example of public visibility mode. In public visibility mode or public inheritance, public members of the base class become the public members of the derived class and protected members of the base class become the protected members of the derived class. So, let us understand it with the help of an example. So, we are taking here an example of class student with private members as x and get data, public members as y and put data and protected members as z and check. Now, class marks is inheriting the class student publicly. You can see here it is written class marks colon public student. The members of class marks are private, int a and read data, public members are R b and write data and protected members are c and check value. Now, we can see the final picture of both the classes. Now, the class student you can see will remain unchanged, but in class marks the public and protected members of the base class will move to the child class marks. So, let us see how this movement takes place. We can see in the picture the 
public members Y and put data of class student will move to the public section of the class marks. So, the public section has B and write data which are already the members of class marks and besides that it has Y and put data which are the members of the base class. Now, the protected section has C and check value as its own members and it has Z and check which are the members of the base class. So, this is how the public inheritance takes place. Now, in private visibility mode public and protected members of the base class become the private members of the derived class. So, we will again take the example of class student and class marks. Class student is a base class and class marks now is inheriting class student privately. You can see here class marks colon private student. So, let us see the picture of both the classes after inheritance. Now, class student as we have already discussed is the base class. So, it will remain the same, there will be no change. But in class marks, after inheritance, the private section will contain A and read data, which are already the members of class marks. But it also contain Y put data, which is the public member of the base class student, and Z and check, which are the protected members of class student. So, both the public and protected members of class student are moved to the private section of class marks. Protected visibility mode. In protected visibility mode, public and protected members of the base class become the protected members of the derived class. So, let us explain it through an example. Again, we are taking an example of class student and class marks. And this time class marks is inheriting class student protectedly. You can see here class marks colon protected student. So, let us see how both these classes look like after inheritance. So, class student is a base class and it will remain same. There will be no change after inheritance. But let us see how the class marks will look like after protected inheritance. You can see here the private section of class marks will remain same, there will be no change and the public section will also remain same. However, in protected section besides having its own members C and check value, now class marks also contains Y and put data which are the public members of class student and it also contains Z and check which are the protected members of class student. So, this is how the public and protected members move to the protected section of the child class. Abstract class. An abstract class is the one that is not used to create objects. An abstract class is designed only to act as a base class which is which can be inherited by other classes. It is a design concept in program development and provides a base upon which other classes may be built. So, let us take an example to understand this. You can see here we have taken an example of class student and class marks again. Now, marks is a, a child class and it is inheriting the base class student privately. So, we look at the main here we are creating an object M of class marks. So, uh, in this case we are not creating any object of class student. So, class student here as an abstract class because it is not used to create any object. Virtual base class. The concept of virtual base class is usually used in cases where two or more classes derived from a single base class become the base class for another child class. The virtual base class helps in avoiding the duplication of inherited members. So, let us understand this concept with the help of an example. This type of situation occurs when multiple, multi-level and hybrid inheritance occurs together. So, let us see this diagram. In this diagram, you can see child is a child class which is inheriting from fees and academics class, where fees and academics class are further inheriting from 
school class. We can say that school is indirectly a base class for child class also. And as we have shown here by dotted line, child can directly inherit from school also. So, all the protected and public members of the school become the members of the child class via fees as well as via academics. So, duplicate copies of the members of school exist in child by multiple routes that is via fees and via academics. This can cause ambiguity and this should be avoided. So, this type of ambiguity can be avoided by declaring the common base class as the virtual class. So, when we declare the common base class as the virtual class, so duplicate copies of this virtual class will not exist in the child class. So, let us take an example to further understand it. So, we have shown here how to implement it in C++. So, first we are creating a class school here and then we are creating the class fees which is inheriting publicly from school and we are writing the keyword virtual before it to declare it as a virtual base class. Then we are creating class academics which is again inheriting publicly from class school and we are again writing the keyword virtual and we can also write public virtual school. We can either write virtual public or virtual, uh, public virtual both are same. Now we are creating the class child and then we are inheriting the fees and academic classes publicly. So as we are creating the class, as we are inheriting the class school virtually, so multiple copies of the members of school will not exist in the class child. So this is all for this video. Uh, you have learned here inheritance, forms of inheritance and types of inheritance. I hope the concepts are clear to you. Thank you.